Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System here on YouTube. Great to have you back. And today we are going to be talking about the upcoming Europa League final and Champions League final, which are coming up this week, May the 26th for the Europa League final and May the 29th for the Champions League final. And the, uh, the, the action here in Europe of club football for the major leagues is, uh, is over for the year. We've wrapped up the leagues on Saturday and Sunday of this past weekend. And now we are ready for those big, uh, European tournaments uh, finals that are going to be played uh, again, like I said, on Wednesday the 26th and on Saturday the 29th. And then we're going to be getting into the international football, which will be taking center stage over the summer with the Euro 2020 tournament and I believe Copa America down in South America. Um, today, we're going to talk specifically, like I said, about the Europa League and the Champions League finals. And of course, you can go over to the Z Code System website there. We posted yesterday about the WNBA 2021 season and uh, I profiled that on our YouTube page as well with a video. So you can check out on that because we had a lot of demand about uh, post, uh, having picks and as well as having tools for betters for the WNBA so they can get into that basketball action all summer long. Go over to the YouTube page, which you're probably watching us on already, but if you're watching us on the website, go to the YouTube page because there's so much content there that you can find and check out. Of course, we've got the video there, like I said, for the WNBA. We've got NBA picks, Major League Baseball picks. So we do picks every week we post there on the the uh, the YouTube page for our channel. Um, but we also have other videos up there, so some tutorials on how to use some of the tools that we have on Zcode system. And as you can see there, the tutorials, and as well as some of the other, uh, the other items that we post there where we describe or explain some of the things that go on in betting. So be sure to check that out on the YouTube page. Now, let's get over to those picks, like I said, for the Europa League final, which is taking place tomorrow, and the Champions League final, which will take place on Saturday. Okay, guys, so I'm using the Soccer Buddy tool, which is the tool that I always use here on our videos on YouTube to showcase the soccer picks that we have on Z Code System. There are other tools that we do use um, on Z Code System, but the Soccer Buddy tool is probably the, um, the one I enjoy the most uh, and the one that I think is a, a very, very good tool um, to use. And so we're looking at the Europa League final, which is going to be played between Manchester United and Villarreal from Spain. And that game is going to be played tomorrow night in Poland, uh, where the where, where it will be held. Now, Manchester United are going into this as massive favorites. Um, sports books are backing them to pick up the win. And I don't blame them because Manchester United have a lot of big name talent. They play in the English Premier, English Premier League and they finished second this past season. So there is a lot of backing going into this game for Manchester United and a lot of fans will be backing the Red Devils to pick up a victory. Uh, Villarreal, they finished seventh in Spain's La Liga. They didn't have uh, the greatest end to the season. They lost 2-1 in their final game of the year to Real Madrid. Uh, but the thing was, uh, Unai Emery did make a few changes during that game to rest some of his key players. Um, now, I think this would be a terrible thing for Manchester United to, do to underestimate Villarreal. I think this is a, a decent team who can certainly cause a lot of trouble in a day. Now, manager Unai Emery won the Europa League three times, three straight years with Sevilla not too long ago. And, you know, they're going to be a, a very good team, even though um, they are, you know, a mid table or upper mid table team in Spain. This is a Villarreal team that has to be taken seriously and are very dangerous. And I think, you know, I think Villarreal could. Uh, create an upset here. Uh, Manchester United may be without center back Harry Maguire. He has an ankle injury. He missed their last four games. Only one of those four games in the Premier League for Manchester United ended in a victory, and they conceded several goals uh, in each of those games uh, that they played. So, uh, you know, I think that if Maguire is out, certainly uh, Manchester United may struggle at the back. Now, they do have uh, the duo of Edison Cavani and uh, Bruno Fernandes in attack, which is a very strong attack. Uh, but Villarreal have had a good defense all season long. And I think that this is going to be a very good game, a little bit closer than what um, what a lot of the media might think here in the UK. And, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Villarreal pick up a victory here. Um, part of that is uh, my disdain, my dislike for Manchester United. So I don't want to get that, that to get in the way. But I think Villarreal are a good team. They beat Arsenal in the semifinals. Uh, of the Europa League, uh, while Manchester United came through Roma. Uh, and to be honest, Manchester United um, won the first leg against Roma in the semifinals, but lost the second leg. 
And that was around the time that they kind of saw some decline in form. Um, like I say, I wouldn't be surprised to see Villarreal win this game. Now, our score prediction here, our total score prediction is 2-2 two, two, uh, with a halftime score prediction of 1-1. One, one. That's pretty high scoring for this, but we did see Manchester United ship goals recently. And um, both games against Roma in the semifinals saw over 2.5 goals. Uh, Villarreal's first leg win over Arsenal in the semifinals uh, finished uh, with over 2.5 goals. Now, their second leg game, they they really had to, to hunker down defensively, and that game ended with under 2.5 goals. It was a nil-nil draw uh, in which Villarreal were able to progress. So I like Villarreal in this game to um, to uh, pick up a win and, and shock Manchester United. I know a lot of people won't be uh, backing me uh, or following me, perhaps, um, but I'm, I'm going based on the fact that Unai Emery is very good in this tournament and he won it three years in a row with Sevilla not too long ago. And I think they're going to be better defensively than a lot of people are giving them credit for. All right, so that's Europa League final, which is on May the 26th, tomorrow night. Let's take a look at the 29th and go to the Champions League final, which is going to be played between Manchester City and Chelsea. And we are just getting that uh, organized there. You can see we've got lots of uh, lots of matches. Oh, there it is, Champions League right there. Uh, we've got lots of matches going on this week. So I've got our hot trend coming up, and we are five for six, predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Chelsea in the last six games. So that is a great hot trend that you might want to get onto. Uh, Manchester City are the favorites in this game. Of course, they would be Premier League champions. Uh, Pep Guardiola is the manager. Um, he's going for his first Champions League trophy win since uh, coaching Barcelona. I think it was 2011, if I'm correct, uh, since his last time of lifting this trophy. Um, couldn't do it uh, with Bayern Munich, couldn't do it uh, with Manchester City as of yet, but could do it finally this year as they play Chelsea. Now, Chelsea had um, a good end to the season, except they did lose on the final day of the season to Aston Villa. Um, luckily for them, they were still able to qualify for the Champions League through the league uh, due to Leicester City uh, losing to Tottenham Hotspur. Um, so, you know, they kind of backed their way into the Champions League uh, in that way. Uh, now, Chelsea did in the weeks leading up to the, uh, to the, excuse me, in the weeks leading up to the end of the season, they did defeat Manchester City at Manchester City's Itahad Stadium uh, by a 2-1 scoreline in a really good game uh, in which they came from behind uh, a, goal down, a goal down at halftime. Uh, and we also saw Manchester City miss a penalty in that game, uh, which allowed Chelsea to come back and to claim the victory. You know what? I'm going to do it again. I like the underdog in this game. I like Chelsea to win this game. Um, I'm... I'm I've grown uh, into being a fan of Thomas Tuchel, their manager, and I think he's um, you know a, a good manager and a good foil for Pep Guardiola. Um, Manchester City, they, they've, they've been shipping some goals here late in the season, um, and they just don't have the attack. I mean, they've scored a lot of goals, but they don't have the attack that we necessarily saw in the years prior. Um, part of that is because Sergio Aguero is um, set to leave the club. He's, he's not had a great year, injuries and different things have uh, kept him from really being the factor that he normally was. A um, uh, leading goal scorer this season uh, was Ilkay Gundogan uh, in the Premier League, at least, uh, scoring 13 goals. So uh, a very unlikely leading goal scorer for the team. And for those, for that reason, for part of that, is, is one of the reasons, I think that Manchester City may struggle once again to get a win. Um and like I said, I like Chelsea in this game. Chelsea, again, they don't score a lot of goals under Thomas Tuchel. Uh, Timo Werner has been very um, hit and miss, more miss than hit uh, in front of goal this season. But, you know, they did uh, they did it when it mattered uh, in that game against Chelsea, uh, excuse me, against that in that game against Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium a couple of weeks ago. And I think they're going to do it again um, in this game in the final. Uh, and I'm going to back Chelsea in this game. 2-1 uh, score prediction there. And I'm going to, in my mind, reverse that to be a 2-1 win for Chelsea. Um, I think this is going to be a close game. Chelsea, uh, they keep games typically low scoring uh, since Tuchel has come uh, come in as manager. And um, yeah, like I said, I think that they're going get to uh, get a win in this game. Now, the, the issue here for Chelsea could be um, goalkeeper Eduardo Mindy. Uh, Edward Mindy, he is struggling with an injury and they're hoping that he's going to be past fit to play the final on Saturday. So that could be something to watch out for. Um, there's really no injuries for Manchester City going into this game. Uh, Pep Guardiola has a, a clean bill of health uh, with his players. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if 
the citizens struggle to step up when it matters uh, in the big game. They've never been to the Champions League final before. Um, they've come close, but they've missed it um, in all previous years uh, before and since Guardiola has taken over. Um, so like I say, I'm taking Chelsea in this game. I'm taking Villarreal in the Europa League final. I'm taking both underdogs uh, in this. Maybe I'll put a double down uh, for this, uh, a double for the underdogs. Because um, I like those I like those teams to to surprise the favorites um, this week in the finals. Um, so guys, those are my picks. Let me know what you think of those picks down in the comments below. And uh, you know, if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up, like the channel and like the video and subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on everything we do here on Z Code System. Of course, we've got all these videos here on the YouTube channel that you can watch and stay up to date on uh, with everything that's going on in the sports betting world and get all of our great picks um, here on the channel. Now, of course, go over, sign up to Z Code System and use all of the tools that we have there for you. So guys, good luck with your betting this week on the Europa League and Champions League finals, and I will see you next time here on Z Code System.